Hey everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb, and I wanted to talk about the Magento Security Scan tool. Uh, basically, it just came out two days ago, and I wanted to show you uh, what it does, and um, just recommend it, and um, kind of go over some of the basic uh, features. Okay, um, so first of all, you need to go to magento.com slash security. This is where they have their kind of blog and they talk about all the security releases, and it's good to just sign up uh, to get notified if there's any releases, of course. Um, so what you need to do is you need to have a, a Magento account and you need to go to the security scan. Um, what it really does is it'll scan your site on a regular basis and uh, provide some details about uh, if you, is your site sec secure, is it kind of following best practices, does it have the correct security patches, things like that. Um, so let's look at it a little bit. So I logged in right now and I'm going to the security scan section right here and what I did is I set up a sample demo site M22 Astro Web um, and I, I set up the scan so let me just walk you through what's going on how I set it up and then let's look at a report on a basic scan that had some uh, issues okay uh, so first you want to go here to add site and what you do is you follow the instructions it's really easy first of all you're going to type in the URL, right, HTTP or HTTPS, the full URL, um, and then you're going to define the name that's setting for you, so maybe my Magento 2, right? Um, and what you need to do in order to actually add a site is you're going to have to copy this code right here and you're going to have to put it in the head of your HTML. Um, so here on the right hand side you can see how that is. For Magento 1 or Magento 2 it's pretty much the same thing, it's really easy, you can see it here but really in short, I can walk you through for Magento 2. Um, you're going to copy this code right here. Go to Content. Go to Design Configuration. And edit your theme, the specific one that you're looking at, right? So your actual design configuration that's fitting. You're going to scroll down to HTML head and go here where the scripts and style sheets are and actually paste in that copy paste you have right here at the top click on save um, and then uh, you may have to refresh cache things like that once you do that you're gonna click on this button right here if it confirms you're gonna see a message at the bottom saying it's confirmed and then the scan will actually start okay so um, one more thing, sorry, to talk about is um, you can set up how often you want to scan. Um, I actually did the uh, daily as far as I remember, um, but they recommend the weekly, but I don't see why you wouldn't want to scan daily. Um, I just think it's better. And then which email you want to actually receive uh, notifications if there's any problems, right? So once you submit, um, you'll very quickly, once you verify, you'll see the confirmation, then you submit it. Now you have in your account an actual uh, you know website um, so you can see right here it'll be processing the first time it, it for me it took about three minutes or so uh, to get a result um, when that happened I actually receive an email that said it told me that I have some alerts some security issues and when I clicked on that email it took me here and then I clicked on the report itself right um, you can also run a scan or delete edit okay so when I ran the report and this is again a Magento 2 just I set up uh, without configuring anything. Um, it said here I have a failed scan. Right here you'll have all the details of the failed scan. The document root for example um, is um, visible. For example my, my web server is configured to have TLS 1.0 which is of course not a good idea. And then all of the things that actually pass successfully. Uh, Magento brute force, SSL, uh, unprotected uh, folders, etc., etc. Um, so pretty, pretty basic. Um, it's a really nice tool. We're going to put all of our websites on this, and then just make sure we fix these kind of things. Now, this is just a uh, test site, but again, this is a really nice, simple tool that Magento creates. I'm sure they're going to continue to update this and focus on it. Really like it. Um, prior, we would use um, a major port as one of the scanners to kind of help us scan the uh, security updates, things like that, um, pretty basic. And um, that's pretty much it. So um, let me know what you think about this video. And the last, last thing I want to talk about here is when you create a site, uh, because this is a new tool, um, what they're doing is they're scanning from the outside 
uh, the site to check if it's uh, vulnerable. Uh, and uh, there is something they call an SSH scan, which is coming soon, which I'm really looking forward to checking it out and see how they can, from inside, actually allow Magento to access the server to see, um, just scan for more things. Um, not all projects will probably allow or need to allow or want to allow this kind of thing, but I definitely want to test it out and check it out. Um, I'll follow up with more videos and let me know if you have any questions. I appreciate you listening to the video.